four of the six psalms we're considering today are from that hymnal book of songs that we began starting with Psalm 120. Remember, they're known as the Psalms of Ascent. These are songs that would have been sung by the people of Israel as they made their way to Jerusalem for, for the different festivals, Passover in the spring, Pentecost in the summer, and the Feast of Tabernacles in the fall. Maybe you'll remember that these Psalms are meant to remind the people of God that even though they were no longer a nation that was nomadic, traveling and, and living in tents, that life itself, well, it's a journey, a pilgrimage. And ultimately, our home that's permanent is in heaven. So as you read these Psalms today, remember, picture families journeying together to Jerusalem. They're singing together. They're, they're setting their minds on who the Lord is. And they're remembering all the good things that God has done for them. Our first four Psalms of Ascent touch on themes of childlike trust in God, the importance of the place of worship, the tremendous life-giving reward of unity over division, especially amidst God's people, and also a call to just bless the Lord. And then the last two Psalms for today, 135 and 136, they're saturated with themes found throughout Scripture, especially in the book of Psalms, that, that God is truly sovereign and he is the one who is steadfastly loving. And I won't read an entire psalm to you. There's 26 verses, but I love the repetition you find in Psalm 136. Let me just read a handful of verses to you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who alone does mighty miracles. Why? His faithful love endures forever and give thanks to the God of heaven. Why? Well, you know why. Because his faithful love endures forever. 